this it was given me to know that many worlds have been enslaved by the beast and his army, the Slayers. And this too was given me to know that the beast would come to our world, the world of Krull, and his black fortress would be seen in the land. That the smoke of burning villages would darken the sky and the cries of the dying echo through deserted valleys. But one thing I cannot know, whether the prophecy be true, that a girl of ancient name shall become queen, that she shall choose a king, and that together they shall rule our world, and that their son shall rule the galaxy. should have been here by now. He may be forced to travel through the forests and the stone country. All the passes and roads are held by the Slayers. Colwyn may not get Aquí through. Trailers. That would Visita please mi canal. I sent men to help. But I see no reason for an alliance with our ancient enemies. Father, the invaders are destroying our world. We must have the alliance. Only if we're united do we stand a chance against them. Then I'll make a treaty with King Torold. It's not necessary for you to marry his son. It's the only way to guarantee the alliance. The marriage is my choice. If it were anyone but Torold's son. Corwin is a great fighter. Huh. Good fighters make bad husbands. Perhaps. were dispatched to you. We lost 300 getting here. I didn't choose this marriage, Tarold. Nor did I, Eric. I chose it. Your daughter chose it. It'll be done. And you leave this army with mine against the Slayers? Whatever army I have, I'll lead against them. Until I've won, or I'm dead. I've chosen well. So have I. Your journey was hard. But necessary. May already be too late. It's not too late. Is this where the ceremony will be? Mm. Tonight at moonrise. My father says that good fighters make bad husbands. Well, that depends. On what? Whether you expect a husband to follow you around, jump every time you clap your hands. Wouldn't you jump for me? No, of course not. You're a warrior. From this day, my kingdom is no more. Nor am I. A single kingdom under our children. Agreed. Kitus Trailers, visita mi canal. I give fire to water. It will not return, except from the hand of the woman I choose as my wife. Take fire from water. 
I give it only to the man whom I choose as my husband. Take the fire from my hand. Is there a safe way out of the castle? An underground passage. Come on! My place is with you. Do you love me? Of course I love you. And go. Beyond your reach. Who are you? I am Yinir. The old one? Well, not as old as all that. You've come down from the granite mountains. Yes, I am needed now. But... <laughs> there is no time now for grief. You haven't lost a father and a bride on the same day. Nor have I become king on that day. I have no kingdom. Your kingdom may be greater than you know. I give it to you, old man, and welcome to it. I came to find a king, and I find a boy instead. Lissa? They will hold her in the Black Fortress. Can you lead me to it? You must have help. I'll find men on the way. In the fortress, you will face more than the slayers. You will face the beast, who is their leader. He can be killed. But no man has ever seen him and lived. You will need the power of the glaive. The glaive is nothing but an ancient symbol. It doesn't really exist. It exists up there. In a cave on the highest peak. Without the glaive, you will never be able to reach Lissa. I need weapons, not symbols. Once the glaive was a very powerful weapon, it can be so again. But only in the hands of the right man.
use it until you need it. Well, how will I know when? You will know. You lead me to the Black Fortress, I'll use it soon enough. It will not be so easy. With each sunrise, the Black Fortress moves. Sometimes it is in the mountains, sometimes in the desert, sometimes in the sea. Never the same place twice. Well, you told me you knew where to find it. What I told you is that I knew how to find the fortress, and that is by seeking the vision of the blind Emerald Seer. But his place isn't known either. It is known to me. It is a day's journey from here. Come. near the granite mountains. Blast! A thousand miles off course. Well, I was rushed. There was a difference of opinion concerning a gooseberry pie. The man left it sitting on his windowsill. What did he expect? Perhaps he expected to eat it. For that rudeness, doubt. I think I'll turn him into a bat! No. That's a recipe for hot fat sauce. Oh, well, it'll have to be a goose. Fat. And ugly. Very fat, very ugly. Before I have is not safe. You best travel with us. Me? Travel with you? Do you know who I am? No. I am Ergo the Magnificent. Short in stature. Tall in power, narrow a purpose, and wide of vision. And I do not travel with peasants and beggars. Goodbye. Oh. Wait! Wait for me! I've just remembered I've urgent business in this direction. What business? Staying alive. from which you will rule this world and countless others. You cannot escape me. You will be my queen. You're no great chooser of roads, old man. This way will save us half a day's travel. Robbers. Not enough. Well, what have we here? A fighter. Besides, you're short about 90 men. <laughs> Let's just kill them and be done with it, Sorkwell. Saffron! I don't kill men without good reason. Nor do I. And be thankful for it. <laughs> you escape prisoners. Everyone. Thieves, bandits, fighters, and brawlers. <laughs> Desperate men. Desperate as you'll ever see. Good. Those are the kind of men I need. These men follow no man but me, and I follow no man at all. Would you follow a king? A king? A king. <laughs> to the Black Fortress. I wouldn't follow my own father to the Black Fortress. If he could find it. Not that he'd be <laughs> foolish enough to do such a thing. Is it foolish to defend your world? And to fight for your homes and families? If the Slayers conquer Kral, your sons will be enslaved. Forever. How did you know I had sons? I have no sons. But I will go with you. Whoa. <laughs> a boy shames you all. Only the King and the Lord Marshal have the case to these manacles. You don't look like a Lord Marshal. No. Look about the right age to be Tuttle's son, eh? Right? Exact age. Nine men like you are worth an army. 
If we succeed, unlock them. Otherwise, I'll die with them. Well, you heard him. We are now an army. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. Saddle up. Hand on. Move! Oh, horrible, horrible. There was a terrible creature over there. And, and over there, a creature with only one eye. A cyclops. He was aiming a spear straight at me. Had that been so, he would now be dead. He was aiming at a slayer, for they have ancient hatred between them. Long ago, his ancestors lived in a world far from Crow and had two eyes like other men. Then they made a bargain with the beast, who was the leader of the slayers. They gave up one of their eyes in exchange for the power to see into the future. But they were cheated, and the only future they are permitted to see is the time of their own death. They're sad, solitary creatures, born to know the day they will die. Today would have been my day, if it hadn't been for him. He marches us towards the solid face of rock. The man has raisins in his brain case. We seek the Black Fortress! Such a vision will be opposed. Who seeks it? The new king. I will seek the fortress for you. I am Erdan the Magnificent. Short in stature, tall in power, narrow of purpose and wide of vision. That is very impressive. I should hope so. I'm Titch. That's not impressive, but adequate, adequate. Where is it? You all right? Yes. The beast does not like curious seers poking into his affairs. His power is too great for you to overcome. Yes, here. But there's one place where his power cannot reach. The Emerald Temple. Yes, in that place. He cannot oppose my vision. Will you travel there with us? It is in the Great Swamp. A treacherous place. Our need is great. Trailers. Is at the center Visita of the swamp, canal. where three trees grow as one. How could anything grow in that place? It smells of death. Death and power are close cousins. Don't think I like your relatives, old man. That's 
the second time you've saved my life. I am Ergo. The Magnificent. You've been with us for a long way now. Since the beginning. Join us then. All men need company. Yes, all men. If I had my wish, I'd be out of this gloomy place right away. I'd wish for a puppy. Well, that's a foolish wish. And you, Will? What would you wish for? Ignorance. Is that you, Titch? Stay here. Make sure we're not being followed. I'll leave this here. Titch, you go ahead. Thank you, brother. I'll leave this here. You go ahead with Titch. He who seeks the knowledge must lead me. No one else may approach. Here is the knowledge you seek. <laughs> has many weapons. This was one of them. A changeling. I found the seer's body in the quicksand. It was my only family. We're your family now. Now we have no way to find the Black Fortress. There is one who might help. A widow of the web. <laughs> that creature helps no one. And none who go there return. She has great power uh, To kill. She may not kill me, for I know her name. Her name is Death. She had another name once. An ancient and powerful name. I must try. From here, I go on alone. And I'm going with you. No. If two approach, she would certainly kill both. Alone, I may have a chance. Each to his feet, Colwyn. I'm not back by morning. <clears throat> you will know mine. I seek the widow! Enter here and die. Trainer, visita mi canal. Lisa! Who speaks that name? It is I, I give you this time.
Teresa. I was young when I last heard that name. I was young when I last spoke it to you. And my face was as beautiful as my name. And I loved you, Lisa, with all my heart. But you would not stay with me. There were responsibilities, duty. We had a son. But you said nothing. Where is he? I killed him when he was born. And this is my punishment. I know you can never forgive me. I cannot forgive myself. I have already forgiven you. You can never forgive a woman who has killed your son. If I had not, could I see you now as I saw you then? And allow me to see through your eyes. Your vision is your gift to me. And your vision could be your gift to me. What can I see for you? The Black Fortress, where does it rise? Tomorrow. In the Iron Desert. But the knowledge is useless to you, for you cannot leave here. No man has ever escaped the web. There is a young girl being held in the fortress. A young girl with your name. A young man seeks her. A young man. The age I was when you and I met. When you and I loved. What you ask is beyond my power. Then the second Lissa will share your fate. She will die, grow old, lonely. She will die in a place of darkness. This whole world will be a place of darkness. These are the sands of my life. Accept them and the spider will have no power to harm you. But your own life runs out with the sand. What about your life? I give it to the girl who bears my name. Go now. Save the other Lissa. It will appear in the Iron Desert. It will remain there until sunrise of the following day. You must reach it. <coughs> we'll reach it. Um, You'll be with us. Oh, my race is run. Use your power wisely. Do not squander it. Bury him here. The Iron Desert's a thousand leagues from here. Fire mares. Fire mares can travel a thousand leagues in a day.
Yeah. And only madmen would want to get this close to it. We're gonna get a lot closer. And quickly, it's almost dawn. We must get inside before the twin suns rise. <laughs> We'll have to rush them. No, wait! We'll be picked off as soon as we move. He's too powerful. You must fight him away from the center. It's us. It's us he can't defeat. It will not return to me except from the hand of the woman I choose as my wife. I give it only to the man whom I choose as my husband. Take the fire from my hand.
We have to find the others. Come on. Visita mi canal. A girl of ancient name shall become queen. She shall choose a king, and together they shall rule our world. And their son shall rule the galaxies. 